Number 64. A barrel of oil is exactly 42 gallons. How many liters of oil are in a barrel? Okay, so direct conversion, right? They're asking for 42 gallons, and we're trying to find out how many liters this is. So whenever I do a conversion factor question, I like to think of a road map. I like to map out my steps just in case there's more than one. So in this case, I want to take 42 gallons, which is GAL. GAL is gallons. And I want to go to liters. Okay, so I try to make it as easy as possible, right? Conversions can be crazy. Um, so I say to myself, do I know a conversion factor between gallons and liters? Now, in your textbook, this is the common conversion factors that they give you. So these are basically the conversions that maybe your teacher or your professor may give you. The other ones that they probably want you to memorize. So I'm trying to look for gallons to liters. Now gallons and liters, this is a type of volume. So I'm going to look in the volume category. Now I'm looking through it, liters and quarts, quarts and liters, feet cube, liter, uh, tablespoon and mill. Uh, nothing about gallons. So I'm probably going to have to break this up. Now, there are going to be probably a couple of conversions that your teacher or professor may want you to know. I'm going to list them over here. You should know that for every one quart, there are 32 ounces, fluid ounces, it's a volume, and for every one gallon, so I'll just say GAL, there's four quarts. These two, they probably will not tell you, so it's a good thing to know them, and it's good to know for, you know, regular, average, everyday life, like for cooking and stuff, so it's, it's a good, good two conversions to just know. So now I know that one gallon is equal to four quarts, QT, so I can kind of shorten this up. I can't get to liters directly, but I can get to quarts. Now, let's see. Do I know a conversion between quarts and liters? Now, I go back to my conversion chart they gave me, and yes, I do. I could look at the first one. Now, technically, I can look at the second one because it has quarts and liters as well. So it's your preference. They're both equivalent. You just pick the one that you feel more comfortable with. For this question, I'm going to pick the first one. So this would be a two-step problem. I just first have to convert gallons to quarts, so that would be step number one, and then I just gotta convert quarts to liters. So here we go. You always start with what you're given, so 42 gallons. And we've done a lot of conversions already, so um, if you are very new, go back to maybe 63 and 62, that will really go into depth about how to start you off on your conversion journey. So here, it's going to kind of be like a pick up space, pick up, you know, pick up the pace because I'm going to assume that you guys are a little bit uh, more fluent with conversions. So whenever you're converting, you multiply by a ratio. Now you don't want gallons. So remember, gallons have to be on the opposite side. And in this case, it has to be on the bottom. And now if I look at my step number one, quarts are going to be on the top. And we know from the conversion that I gave you guys, one gallon equals four quarts. So the one has to go where the gallons are, so one gallon, and the four has to go with the four quarts. And now the word gallon cancels out because anything that's the same on the top and the bottom will always cancel. And now you're just working with quarts. So this is your first step. So this guy is checked off. Now we just do the same process over again. You multiply by a ratio, and this is the start of step number two. You don't want quarts anymore, so that has to go on the bottom. And we're looking for liters, so liters go on the top. And now we use our conversion factor that they gave us. They told us that one liter equals 1.0567 quarts. So one liter, the one would go on the top, and 1.0567 quarts on the bottom. And now the word quart will cancel, because they're exactly the same, and you're left with liter. And that's what the question was asking for. 
Now we just have to do the math. When you're converting, what I like to do is I like to multiply the top to get one number, then multiply the bottom, get one number, and then you finally do, do your division. So I like to do multiply top, multiply bottom, then you finally divide. So I'm going to get all my tops together, and I'm going to multiply them all. So I will do 42 times 4 times 1. Now anything times 1 is itself, so I usually like to um, leave the 1 out. So it would just be basically 42 times 4. So 42 times 4 is 168. I'm just going to put it up here. Over, now I multiply everything that's on the bottom. So 1 times 1.0567, which would just be, you got it, 1.0567. Now I finally divide. So now I'm going to do 168 divided by 1.0567. 168 divided by 1.0567 is a big number, long decimal. So 158 point, we'll say 9855. But now we got to use our sig figs. And remember, with conversions, if you're converting, you always use the sig figs that are given. So use the sig figs that are given. You never use any conversion factor sig figs because they are exact. They do not count. So we are looking at 42 gallons. This was given. So how many sig figs were in 42? Two. The four and the two count. So I have to take this number and convert it into just two sig figs. So I will keep the one. I'll keep the five. The next number will tell me if I have to round. It's more than five. So this five would actually turn into a six. So this would be 106D. You got to have a placeholder for this part because the decimals over here. And now I will have two sig figs. Now let's just add the unit. The unit that was last standing was liters. So this would be 160 liters. And that's your answer. So how many liters are in 42 gallons? 160 liters. And that's it. Easy as that. Easy as pie. Easy peasy. Okay, so that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped out. Hope you guys understand conversions. And... Honestly, with conversions, it's just practice, practice, practice. So try out all of the other questions that we're doing. There's some going backwards. There's more going forwards. So do as many practice problems as you can. The better you, you get, the better you're going to be for your test. So I'll see you guys all in the next question. It's probably going to be more converting. So I'll probably see you in literally five seconds if you keep just, you know, chilling if you have the playlist on. But anyway, I'll see you in the next question. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye.